Hatafe hosting Hirona and Hatafe at plus 180, Hirona plus 190 pushes you towards the draw straight away at plus 190. So it's even under plus 200. So no one's going to be surprised here if it's a draw. But the over two at minus 105 for two sides who do not care for each other um, and just throw caution to the wind. It's, a, it's over two goals is a push or two is a push, but over two at minus 105. Pavlos, who's got to be the way to go in this. Forget you draw no bets and whoever's going to win. Just look at goals. Yeah, we, this is one of the matches where you don't care who wins. You pick the over two. Um, you know, if it was... I, Another side against Getafe, maybe I would be cautious against the over two, but Girona, they've gone, you know, gang ho in the last couple of matches. They scored nine goals, considered four as well. Um, they're really opening up, of course, to be honest, uh, in their match against Bilbao. And they didn't actually score three. They Two of those were Bilbao own goals uh, in the first half as well. But um, that was a weird match. But still, um, Girona, they can score. And um, if they somehow score this, the first goal here, Getafe will have to go in front. And uh, the same thing goes if Getafe go in front. Uh, Girona, they, they won't stay back because they, you know, neither of these two sides should, should be feeling uh, comfortable um, right now. In the, you know, Getafe are already inside the relegation zone and Girona, they're just, uh, what, seven points ahead. So uh, these are all very small differences. Um, and uh, whenever these two sides, it's like the proverbial soccer uh, six-pointer in the sense that whoever wins not only takes three points for, the, for themselves, but they also deprive uh, one of their main competitors for the relegation of three points. So um, in these situations, I like to take the over two. I think that's worst case scenario. It's a push. So yeah, I, I definitely see maybe both teams to score as well, but the over two uh, is the safest way to go here, I think. Yeah, I dare say though, Paco, both teams to score is going to be a bettable price. Um, can you split these two? Do you think there's a, a, a decent favourite? Because at plus 180 for the home side... It's going to have plenty of people being tempted because the draw no bet for the home side is minus 115. Yeah, and I think that the way the, the development of both sides have been, uh, you know, uh, working out in the second in the second leg of the of the competition, the second half since the um, World Cup break, I think that the deep in, in form uh, for Getafe has come from plenty of draws, too many for them. They had sometimes they had some games, you know, uh, in their hands, and suddenly things went awry, awry for, him, for them. I can think about the game against Villarreal last week, for example. Uh, they went 1-0 up in La Ceramica and they saw the game being overturned. Whereas for Girona, as Pablo said, they are now sitting 11th uh, plus 7 points over the relegation zone and they are not that reliable away from home. Most of their points have come when playing at home. They find it very easy to score. We saw 6 goals coming on from them uh, a couple of weeks ago, but away from home on the road, they are not, you know, not the, the most powerful side. So if I had to pick one of these, you know, as the draw and the the home win, the away win, they are so balanced in the in the odds. I went with Hetafe. I went with Hetafe because I saw them playing against Valencia. Obviously, they were awful a couple of weeks ago. But I think that if Hetafe want to remain in La Liga, which they definitely want, and they don't have that much time left in order to turn things around. They need to start winning games at home. And uh, this is going to take place, you know, during the weekend, which is actually very strange for Getafe because they often play both on Fridays and on Mondays, which is awful for the, you know, all of the atmosphere surrounding the game, all of the sense of uh, urgency for the fans, uh, the need of the points. And I think that all of these different factors are going to, you know, go straight in for a... Narrow Getafe win, as you said, maybe uh, both teams to score 2 1, even a 3 2. I, I don't know, but I see Getafe winning this one, even, even if both uh, teams are able to score. Yeah, I think it's goals. Uh, I really do. I mean, I even think that one of them could win 2 0, um, which then is a push on the over two at minus 105. Uh, let's have a little look at the official picks, please. Okay, so. Yeah, so we got the over two twice. The two units are going on the over two at minus 105. And the big money here for Paco is Hatafe. Money line at plus 180. Remember that draw was at plus 190. 